Good afternoon. Welcome to day 11 of your COVID-19 updates. Uh, and with your permission, um, I would like to uh, kind of space out our communication a little bit more now. So uh, we're gonna move to twice a week. Um, start next week, we will post one on Wednesday and then Friday. Uh, feel like we've communicated what we needed to um, during the initial uh, part of this experience, um, doing it daily. We had a lot of information coming out, a lot of changes, and it was needed. Now. Everybody's doing a great job of getting into the routine, getting into uh, what it's going to look like on a daily basis, and we can kind of pull back a little bit on our daily communication. However, if something major changes, we definitely will push out a video, let everybody know what's going on, and, and stay on the front end uh, as much as we possibly can. With that, um, I'd like for you to do me a favor. Um, on our uh, reviews on Facebook and other websites. We haven't had any in, in quite some time. So if you could, please, um, if you feel uh, like we're doing a decent job or you feel like we're doing a good job, I know there's a lot of you out there that believe in what we're doing. Go out and share that um, because we want to expose as many people as we possibly can to this experience that your children are, are getting an opportunity. And one of the beautiful things is people get to understand inquiry a little bit more. And I hope you can see the the benefit of it and the meaning of it um, whenever uh, we can fully dive into it and, and do it correctly. So if you're feeling uh, compelled, please go out, leave a couple of reviews for us. We sure would appreciate that. The last thing that I want to do on these daily videos is leave you with one more tip uh, to help with your classroom management um, that you uh, now know is a real deal, right? And that's a direction set. And what a direction set does is it allows for our body or for our mind to work before our body is expected to move. Um, so a lot of times what we say is, hey, go into the living room, pick up your toys, do the dishes, and then brush your teeth and get ready for bed. Well, with that, as they go to pick up their toys, they don't hear you say, do the dishes and brush your teeth. And we end up spending a lot of time getting frustrated over little things like that, where if we would pose them in a little bit uh, different way, it would be more beneficial. So what you do in a direction set is the first thing is you give a cue. So for example, I would say, when I say go, I want you to, and you follow that up with the directions. So when I say go, I want you to go into the living room, pick up your toys, do the dishes, brush your teeth and go to bed. Is there anything that I can clarify? Ready, go. At that point in time, your child is able to hear every single thing that you expect for them to do. That little thing of giving a cue, stating your direction, and then say, stating the cue will surely help you uh, quite a bit inside of um, your classroom management at home. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. I truly do appreciate everything that y'all have done um, in working with us and your patience as we get this up and running. So uh, again, holler at us if there's anything that we can do. Thanks a lot.